Good day learners, this is Easy Engineering. This time, we are going to talk about units and physical quantities. To begin with, let me give you some common examples. If I say, I am weighing 80 kilograms, I am 20 minutes early, that is 10 meters long. But the question is, what is 80 kilograms, what is 20 minutes, and what is 10 meters? We all know that 80 kg refers to mass, 20 minutes refers to time, and 10 meters refers to length. These are some common physical quantity that we humans use in our daily living. Let me tell you more about physical quantities. So what are physical quantities? We can define this as anything that humans can measure. Bear in mind that every physical quantity has two important parts, namely its magnitude and unit. Going back to the example I gave previously, the first example was, I am weighing 80 kilograms. 80 is a numerical value. So this is the magnitude, and kilogram is the unit. The next example was, I am 20 minutes early. Same goes for 20. 20 is the magnitude, and minutes is the unit. And the last example was, that is 10 meters long. So, 10 is the magnitude and meters is the unit. Physical quantities are divided into two categories. These are the base quantities and derived quantities. Physics acknowledge that there are seven base quantities. Namely, these are length, mass, time, electric current, temperature, amount of substance, and luminous intensity. On the other hand, derived quantities are derived from base quantities or combination of base quantities. To name some, these are area, volume, speed, acceleration, and many more. Furthermore, there are two major systems of units used in the world, SI units and English units. English units are used in nations that once ruled by British Empire. Meanwhile, here in Philippines, we use SI units. The SI unit for base quantities such as length is meter, mass is kilogram, time is second, electric current is ampere, temperature is kelvin, amount of substance is mole, and luminous intensity is candela. So that is all for now. I hope you learned something today. And once again, this is Easy Engineering.